In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form. I will specifically show you how to create a form in Canva. And this is what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. So, if you want to learn how to create this form in Canva, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sonic here from Template Warriors. On this channel, we help you create and sell digital products online and also help small businesses grow using the right digital tools through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So to create this form in Canva, I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Canva account. Having signed into my Canva account, I go over to create a design. Then I search for A4. I have A4 document here. You can also go ahead and use letter depending upon where you are coming from. I just click on it and it will open in a new tab. And this brings me to my canvas. Before I proceed, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and give my form a title. Application form. Hit enter. I will go ahead and zoom in a bit. The next thing I want to do is add in an element. So I'll go over to elements and I'll choose a square which will appear on my canvas. I reposition it and I reduce the size. That is the height. I want to align it perfectly to my margin like this. So when you see this pink line, it means that you are perfectly on the right margin. So I release and I'm going to go ahead and open this up. To the right side of my page maybe i can still reduce the height a bit like this i think this will do the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this shape to do that you make sure it is selected then i go to this three dots right here and i click on duplicate i can reposition it like this to be in line about this much maybe the space is too much i want to reduce it and i'll use my arrow keys on the keyboard Perfect. I will select the second one and I'll duplicate it for the second time. This time around, I'll hold Control key on my keyboard and then press D to duplicate. And I reposition it like this. You see that upon dragging it down, I have 0 0.2 on each of the white spaces in between. So this means that the space in here and up here is the same. I'll select the whole of this and I go ahead and duplicate it. And I take it down this much. Perfect. So I have three rows here and another three rows here. Meanwhile, here I need four rows. So what I do is I select the last one, then I go ahead and duplicate it. Then I reposition it like this. So what I'm trying to do now is try to arrange my form in sections. So I have two sections now. The next section, I need only two rows. So I'll select the last two. I duplicate it. Then I take it down. I make sure the space in between the four rows and the two rows is the same as the space right here. Next, I duplicate these two rows again and I'll duplicate it for the last time. However, I don't need the last one. I'll go ahead and reposition this. For now, I won't worry about positioning this last three. Now it's time to start customizing my form by adding in some text. So I select the first row and I'm going to go ahead and change the shape fill color. So I'll go over to color right here and I'm going to use black. Next, I select these two and I'll go ahead and use this light gray. Perfect. I think this is cool. So I'll do the same thing in here. Perfect. And the rest of this will be black throughout. Now let me add in my text. So I'll go over to text and I'm going to add a heading. For the first row, it will be personal information. I can reduce the size by holding here. Then I'll go ahead and open it up so that it will be in one line. However, I will change the alignment to align left. I deselect it, then I take it on top like this. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font color to white. It is not perfectly aligned. I select it. I still want to reduce the size. And I think this is cool now. The text is looking thick. I select it and I'm going to go ahead and choose a lighter font. Maybe I can use this, a grandeur. I don't even know the proper pronunciation, but I'll choose it anyway. And I think this looks cool. 
I can reposition it with my arrow key. Think it's awesome. Perfect. Before I enter text for the gray rows, let me go ahead and duplicate the headings for the rest of the black rows. So I select this duplicate. Then I take it here. Next, I go ahead and edit the text to their appropriate text. So this one will be contact information. This one will be last school attended. Now let me go ahead and enter in text for the gray rules. And starting from the top, I need name, gender, and then date of birth. I can duplicate this text and place it right here. And I change it to name. Meanwhile, I can change the font color to black. I select it back and I go ahead and duplicate it and I'll call this gender. Maybe adding in color won't be bad. So I'll do the same thing in here. I'll duplicate gender and I'll take it right here and it will be date of birth. Maybe I can take it back a bit like this much. Under contact information, I need residential address, email, and then phone. So I'll go ahead and duplicate any of these text. Then I enter the appropriate text and get back to you. Going down, this is cool. I'm not going to add anything here. So next, I work on courses. So I go ahead and select everything. And I'm going to go ahead and reposition it on top like this. So that I get 1.3 inches space in between the top section and this section. I will go ahead and duplicate this text. Since it's having the color I want to use. And I'll place it right here. For this one, I'll reduce the size to maybe 13.4. I'll reposition it like this and I'll go ahead and duplicate it three times and I can reposition it like this. Perfect. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and add in some checkboxes here. So I go over to elements and I choose a square. I reduce the size. And I go ahead and duplicate it for the rest of this tray. Now I can go ahead and change the text. Perfect. Maybe I can change the fill color of the checkboxes. So I select all and I click on color. So there are so many ways I can choose my gray color. Then the border, I go ahead and choose border style and I choose this. Perfect. It's too thick. I select it back. I go back to border and I can make it one. Hit enter. Perfect. This is cool. Or better still, you can take off the border if you don't need it. So I go back to border style and I choose none. I'll leave it like this so that it will be consistent with the rows here. Next, I select this and I reposition it so that I get 1.3 inches. Let me move the last one down here so that I will make room for whatever I'll be doing here. I can go ahead and duplicate this text here. I'll place it like this. So the first one will be newspaper. I duplicate this. Maybe this much will do. Website. And finally, I duplicate it once more. Maybe I can say friends. Then I go ahead and duplicate one of these checkboxes. Take it here. I'll make sure it's in line with the top ones. I duplicate it again. Now the last row, I select it, I take it up a bit so that I get 1.3 inches as the spacing in between the top section and the last one, like this. What I'll do is I'll just duplicate the whole of this. So I select all, duplicate, and I take it down here. The first one will be card, followed by cash. And finally, check. Maybe I can add in a last row for signature and date. And I'll use this. 
So I go ahead and duplicate it. And I take it down like this. I can duplicate this text by selecting it. And I place it right here. I enter signature. And I go ahead and duplicate it for the last time. And this one will be date. Perfect. What I'm going to do now is add in a title here for my form as well as a logo. And the space here is not going to be enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the spacing in here. And I'll start from bottom. So I'll use this spacing right here. So I select the whole of this. And I'll take it down. So it's 0 0.6. I do the same thing on the top one here. 0 0.6. Now I have enough space here. So first of all, I'll add in my logo. I have my logo here. I'll just drag it and drop it in here. I minimize this and it will start uploading. I have it right here. I take it up, reduce the size. I'll align it to my rows. I can duplicate any of this text just to be consistent with my font. I place it right here and I'll go ahead and change it. Online office teacher. That is the name of my school. I duplicate it. I'll go ahead and reduce the size, maybe 13.3. I'll add in my address. Perfect. I can further reduce the size like this. Next, I go to elements and I'm going to go ahead and add in a square shape so that users will be able to add their photo. And this way, I'll place it. I change the shape feel to maybe light gray and I'll add in a border of one. Perfect. This is cool. Maybe I can reposition this text like this and I'll increase the size of the logo. So now the design of my form is done. I can go ahead and save it as a PDF. The suggested file type is PNG, but I don't need it as an image. So I drop down the arrow and I choose PDF standard. This is best for documents and emailing. I select it, then I go ahead and download. Perfect. I click on download and the name is OK. I click on save. With this, I can start sharing it to my students so that they go ahead and fill and submit. So that's it. Creating a form like this, you just have to be creative and you can come out with your own design. So that's it on how to create a form in Canva. All right, that's it guys. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.